Hey guys, Wistry here. Since we are running our own server, it would be nice if we could monitor what's going on. We can do that with a free program called NetData. It installs using Docker and it nicely integrates into Home Assistant. So let's dive into it. First, SSH into your server and make sure you are in your home directory. Since we will be using Docker Compose, we have to edit or create our docker compose file. I'll put the commands in the description below. Docker compose files always have the version and the services. If you already have a file, don't include these two lines, else put everything in there. Then we have to configure our NetData container. Ctrl X Y to save. And now we have to pull it. We use docker compose up dash d net data return since i already installed it it was pretty fast but for you it will download all the resources once that's done you will have this nice overview at your ip address port 19999 now to integrate it into home assistant you can open the api page and look for the data you want. A quick tip over here, you can find what you'll be looking for. I'm going to put my upload and download sensors in Home Assistant. So I look for system.net. Let's go into Visual Studio Code. So in your configuration, under sensors, if you don't have it added, you put a new platform called NetData. Then you go for resources. This is a name shown in Home Assistant. Then the data group you can find over here. That's the one you'll be looking for. So just copy paste the name. And then the element is the part you want the information from. In this case, in octets and out octets. The reason I put invert true is because upload is considered negative download. So it will be all a negative number and I want a positive one. So just invert it and that's fine. After you edit those, go to configuration, serve controls, check config and restart. Once it's restarted, it's time to add our sensors. Go to your overview, click on the three dots, configure UI, three dots again, unused entities, and there they are. I'll pick both, click on the plus, say what view I will want to have them on, system, and I'm going to pick a different card, being the history graph. Save it, close the editor. And let's have a look. Enjoy. <laughs> 